You're ruining my freaking garden. Making it beautiful. You've ruined. You've literally ruined my garden. Hey everyone, and welcome to a brand new Zerain Game Mod Checkers. I'm here with Andre. Sup. And today we're doing the garden stuff mod created by the incredible J Jack Adro. J yeah. J Jack Adro. Jack Adro. Yes. You better be saying that right, otherwise. Ow. Get, get, get it, get in Ow. there. Get, get in that compost Ow. bin. Ow. Ow. I can't even compost myself. Ah, oh, you got to lose some pounds. <laughs> Do some star jumps. Do some star jumps. Minecraft won't let me. <laughs> um, but this mod basically adds in tons of cool new gardening features. So if you're a keen gardener like Andre. Like, like me. Yeah. I garden all the time. He's the Alan Titchmarsh of Minecraft. That is true. Um, then, like, like, seriously, this is amazing for designing gardens and stuff like that. So anyway, the first thing you've got to do is create your compost bin. Um, and basically the recipe for the compost bin is up there. Um, and you can put in oak saplings or any kind of like plant-like thing. So, uh, I, I guess... Like, what else could you put in there other than sapling? Like, leaves and stuff? Yeah. Flowers? Little mini flowers? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could do that. Maybe. So if we put in saplings, you'll start seeing the compost bin working. Ew, stinky. And ev <laughs> oh, look, it's actually full up, look. It's That's stinky. Cool. And eventually, it will make enriched soil, which looks like poop. It is pretty much poop. It probably smells like it as well, to be honest. Yeah, it does take Needs a while for this compost bin. Needs smell of vision. <laughs> um, but this enriched soil is basically what you need to do most of the gardening plant stuff. Um, so yeah, you you can see there it's creating it. It's quite slow. Um, and there we go, enriched soil. Okay, so the next thing you have to do is create this, which is actually. Garden soil, which is the stuff we stood on, Andre. Because you just kind of mix dirt with the enriched soil, I guess. Yeah, you do. Yeah. And uh, you get this beautiful poop smelling. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, God, I smell. Ooh. <laughs> smells so great. Um, but plants grow really well on it. Smell okay. that healthy garden. And and it also adds some other abilities, which we'll show you in a second. Because you are Alan Titchmarsh, you do like abilities. Oh, oh, definitely. Now, for most of the <laughs> planting for like flowers and stuff, you need to create this trowel. Okay. Now the trowel. This is how you, oh, you create the, This is how you create the trowel. For some reason, you need to rub your poop on the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which I, I, I guess kind of makes sense. So if you grab the trowel in this box. Yoink. Okay, and grab a couple of flowers, like just... Why are they pink flowers? No, God. no, deal with it, okay? Uh, fine, I'll get some orchids. Now, what you can do is, when you've got your little trowel, you can right-click a piece of soil, the, spe the special gardening soil, Ooh. and you can put in flowers in the position that you want, okay? So you could have three... Uh, f three are orange ones and two white oh, ones. Wow! And if you do it on a bigger block, I see. You, you, you right click. If you do it on a like, for example, you see here we got four blocks. If I right click the bottom left, ah. it shows the bottom left. If I right click the bottom right, it shows the bottom right. If I right click the top right, it shows the top right. And if I right uh, right click the left, uh, the, the, the top left, it shows the top left. Um, so you could basically wow. create logos and things like that in flowers. Um, and it also means that you can have a, a kind of more dense, is that the right word? Like where they're yeah. more compacted. A dense garden. It looks really nice, doesn't it? It does. And you like, say you've got a, a blue carpet and a red carpet in your house. You could complement that with blue and red flowers. So it's, it's, it's a really cool, unique, customizable feature. Um, which is perfect for any gardener. If you're a gardener, perfect. Like me. <laughs> right, I think, yeah, yeah, like Andre. <laughs> uh, now this mod also offers some uh, new saplings, I think. I think they're new, because they grow, they grow big they trees. They do look pretty tall. They look pretty tall to me. They look like they're pretty new. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that. Right, now, <laughs> there is something else you can do which is pretty cool, and that is make these clay pots. Now, if you've ever seen the Lionel Richie video, you know the Hello video? No. no. No, I haven't. You know where he's fingering the clay? No, I, I don't watch Lionel Richie fingering things. I don't. Okay, well, he would be able to do this really easily because he's a pro. 
So the first thing I'm going to mention is the stamps. Now you can collect these stamps here and they're very important because they're used for stamping your pots and decorating them with different styles like this. Uh, and they're found in random dungeons throughout Minecraft where you kind of usually find horse armor and stuff like that. Now some of them have dirt on them. So these are stamps obscured by dirt. Now the way you clean them is you come up to a, a wet cauldron right click the cauldron and it will give you a clean stamp so if you, if you find one of those that's how you clean it okay now the first thing we need to do is create a raw large flower pot okay and that's how you do it with clay in that shape and then you've also got to create a pottery table and i believe you know how to create that just just slap some clay on top of a, a crafting bench in the crafting recipe so thing kind of just like uh, mush it on the top of your craft yeah just to slap it on top yeah mush it around a bit okay <laughs> and then what you got to do is now if you want to add a pattern you put your raw large flower pot in the bottom and then here you go if you put in your stamps it will actually allow you to see what the stamp looks like so i've put all the stamps in here before an hour earlier uh, and it allows you to see what pattern we're going to go. So we're going to go with the creeper. So you put the creeper one in there and it will create a large flower pot creeper. Now this flower pot is not yet ready, Andre. Do you know why? Because it's not pink. No. What do we do before it goes pink? You, you may maybe cook it. There we and go. And make there, it pink. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> We've got to cook it first because otherwise it might... Uh, demold itself or go a weird shape and you don't want a weird shaped flower pot do you well i don't know it depends what shape it is in minecraft it's got to be square <laughs> so once you've cooked it what you do is you put, pick your selected die i'm gonna go with a blue one. Oh, oh yeah, damn yeah, it yeah, man yeah. for xg you oh, put your geez. pot with the pattern with the cooked in the no no can you not what no. What okay. Happened? So we put some blue lapis in there. We put the <laughs> creeper pot in there and we take it out. Okay. And right, now yeah. it is actually, well, that's actually purple, but who cares? It's still pretty cool. Okay. So that is basically how you create a flower pot. Um, and uh, they do join together as well if you have a similar pot. Um, so, for example, you see that they join together and you can like sit in them. Because these are these are quite large, and you can even make them as big as you like. Uh, so if you wanted like a swimming pool, pretty cray cray. If you wanted like a swimming pool, you could perhaps. I wonder if you can actually put water in there. Try. try. I, th I think you can actually. I think you can. Um, but here, as you can see, you can put the soil in there, so you can put the flowers with your decorations, with oh, your geez. trowel and stuff. No, you can't. No, you can't. Okay. You nope. can put you can put trees in there. How cool would that be though? You create like a little, a I little like ones, a hot tub. Oh, maybe it's got to be cooked first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, M maybe. Yeah, okay. Maybe try cooking. Cooking. Uh, let's let's cook all of those, and we'll we'll let them go. The other ones. I've right. Whilst we whilst we're waiting for those to cook, we'll show you these. Now these, Andre, dude, Found dude, work. dude. Found work. Found didn't work. Oh can't my put god. Can't lava in them. Yeah, oh god, gracious. Just let you know. Now these Floyd are pretty. These these are pretty cool. Okay, because they're like. Uh, would you say these are like ro Roman? Pots? I think they're like marble kind of, kind of pots. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you create them with this recipe, and depending on the type of marble you use, you get a different type of pot. So you've got like the chiselled and the uh, the other one. What's the other one called? It's column, isn't it? Column. Um, pillar. So, that's the one. Pillar. So you get a different kind of pot, and you can put trees in these flowers, and also. Oh. Why can't you put lava in? You can't oh. put lava in fire. Oh, jeez. Oh. No, no, so let's what, move well, on. What you let's do is you, you put netherrack in there first and then you set that on fire. <laughs> right, okay, let's see if our uh, large flower pots are. Right, so try putting water in those. I see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, ooh, you can ooh, have a hot tub! Oh! <laughs> yeah, look, you can even have a swimming. Like, you know, when you go to swimming <laughs> pools and they have those channels that you can swim around? You could have like yeah. a channel of water that you are, oh, and you move really quickly in them, which is really <laughs> cool. Um, but anyway, let's move on. Be sure to comment below what your favourite part of this mod is, by the way, guys. Okay, like if it's the, uh, if it's these, let us know. Marble pots, my favourite part. If it's the pink trowel, pots. not pink pots. Pink pots. Um, now these are the <laughs> kind of things that you can put in the pots. You can put in the uh, 
water, sand. This not is lava. A, this is actually grass, <laughs> but for some reason it's grey. Um, it's gravel, apparently. Oh, that, that's actually gravel, yeah. But if, yeah. You do, if you do put in grass, for some reason it does go this weird grey colour. I think that's because the generic grass texture is grey. Yeah. Um, and as you can see, you can put cactus in there. You can put mushrooms on them. And you can also create a farm in them without water. That's pretty useful, actually. So you can have an indoor farm without water, which is pretty cool, right? Yes. Um, and also you <laughs> can create these mini flower pots, which you can put... Yeah, you did actually get a pink flower this time. It's cool. You're forgiven. Yeah. I, I'm, all, I'm all for equal colours. Um, and you can put sand in these, soil, etc. Ferns, flowers, mushrooms, and all that all that jazz. Uh, right, now on to these. Now, these are basically like fences. I get, uh, well, I would use them as fences, but I don't, I don't know. Structures? Hmm. What would you call them? Hmm. They're posts, apparently. Posts. posts. They're, they're posts. Now, That's exactly what I was going to say. To create them, you put a uh, a wood down with a chopper above it. Yeah, I call it a chopper. So we're, we're chopping Get these by it. hand. We're, cho we're chopping them by hand. Like these, a, these symmetrical... <laughs> like a lumberjack. Now, they have oh, some word. cool abilities, okay? If you put them next to each other, they don't really do much, right? It acts as like a fence, yeah? Yeah. Well, but you can jump over. You can jump over them, so I'm guessing mobs can as well. Um, but what you can do is you can join them together and mm. have them sticking out like this. See that? They're pretty cool. They can you, you can make your garden look really different. You see that? You can have like an archway. It'd be awesome. Yeah, you could have an archway. Look, walk under the arch, Andre. Oh, <laughs> it's a cool arch, right? Yes. Um, and this Very. That you, um, there are different types of posts, as you can see here, and they all blend together. So any type of wood that you Even, want to use. I thought you could use glowstone for a second. I was going to say. Where's glowstone? No. <laughs> oh no, you're looking over there. Those yeah. Are, those, those are the different fences. I'm looking here, dude. You see here? Yeah, I, I see. Posts. Do you I like see. this structure? I'm going to sell it to the uh, Museum of England for yeah, uh, modern art for five pounds. Modern art. <laughs> apparently anything's art so yeah, yeah apparently suck it uh here is uh the the next thing you can make and these are basic these do act like fence posts okay look you can't actually jump over these ones they look uh, pretty if i could have jumped i would have probably died so it's a good job <laughs> um and to do that you just uh put some string next to them and it creates these roped kind of fences um at first i thought they were chained but as they're made out of string i guess it is rope isn't it um, so yeah, they're, pr they're pretty cool. They're a different kind of unique fence, um, and perfect for any garden, any garden. Right, now onto the next section, and this is where you get to decorate your windows, Andre, with a window box. Ah, oh, these are pretty. Yeah, you like that? Oh, yeah, I like these ones. Uh, now to create them, you put a block on the left, a pot in the middle, and a block on the right, and it will create your window box. Oh, crap. <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> uh, okay, I got that one. I managed to get that one. And basically, you just click it on a wall. And you can you can put it um, on any section of the wall you like. So if you want to put it on the top of the block, it's like slabs, basically. Uh, if you want to put it on the top of the block, you can, the bottom block. And they do also join together um, if they're the same, I believe. I think. I think. Uh -huh. uh, let, let's quickly try it, actually. Let's... Beautiful flowers. Let's quickly try it. And you can put flowers in there, mushrooms, all that jazz. And uh, it's pretty cool for decorating windows. Oh, the wood one's destroyed. Okay, they don't join together in the middle, but they do kind of like look quite cool uh, next to each other. So, yeah, that's quite nice. Um, so, they're, they're really good for decorating windows and stuff like that. Because um, windows do get a bit bare, I think. Yeah, they do. Like, uh, th this orange window up here, it'd look pretty crap, wouldn't it? But with, <laughs> all, these, with all these beautiful place <laughs> plants, because no one really has orange windows these days, do they? <laughs> no, no, they don't. Um, now on to the next part. And I find this part quite intriguing and quite unique and quite cool, okay? Now, what you can do is you can create a soil test kit, okay? Ooh. 
And uh, I'm going to move out all this stuff out of my inventory. Now, these soil test kits are quite cool because they allow you to take a soil reading from a particular biome, okay? Uh, and this is how you create the t soil test kit. You use cactus green, rose red, and two glass bottles, okay? And what you do is you right-click on, on some soil in a biome, and it will create a used soil test kit. And if you hover over it, it will tell you the temperature of that biome, the rainfall of that biome, and create a unique soil test kit, okay? Now, these are all the different ones you can get from different biomes, okay? There's six of them. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to change the color of grass, ferns, etc. in a flower pot. So it turns that flower ah. pot into a biome, okay? That's so if I cool. go along with the different biomes, you'll see how different the fern looks, okay? So this is the first one. You see it changed color there. Ah. This is the second one, much richer, colorful, saturated green. This is the third one, a bit more dull. Fourth one, a bit more yellow. Fifth one, and sixth one. Now, if you know what biomes they're from, <laughs> then you're a bloody genius, okay? Whoa. Comment below, one to six, what biomes you think they're from. I have no idea where they're from, so uh, it's all down to... I, I reckon... <laughs> what, do you reckon that, what do you reckon they're from? Okay, should we guess? Should we yeah. go? I reckon guess. This, is the, this is the sandy one, I'd say. I think snow, plains... Hmm, this, one's might, this one might be... Mountain? This one might be mountainous, yeah. This one's going to be desert, I reckon. Yeah. This one will be maybe another, some sort of, no, this last one here H might be hills? another snowy one. H hills, maybe? I think I said the hills one already. Yeah. What, what else would that be? Mountain. Let's just say mountain. Yeah, <laughs> ocean. Uh, there we ocean go. biome. Yeah, there we go. Ocean <laughs> biome. Or um, jungle. Oh, this, one, oh, oh, this one's jungle here. Yeah, jungle. There we go. Okay. So, yeah. So yeah, Maybe a it's forest a cool, somewhere. cool little thing right there. But anyway, that is this mod. It was quite a big mod. Oh, it was. Um, and it's kind of complicated in sections, like the clay part took me a while to figure it out. But once you do figure it out, you can create some awesome, beautiful pots of different colors to decorate your house. You can what... actually have a pretty garden in Minecraft. Yeah. Would you use any of these features inside your house? Would you use them in your garden? Let us know what you'd use them for. I, I really do love this farm thing because you could literally create a farm anywhere. You could take pots with you be in a cave, put down the pots and just grow a farm with some bone meal. And, and it would be really useful. Um, or you could just take meat with you. I guess that would be easier. <laughs> uh, but anyway... Plus, plus the water stuff actually does kind of get bulky in your design. So yes. you have to like, put space for water around your, your garden and stuff. It might be nice just to get rid of that. Yeah, if you're living in like an apartment and you haven't got <laughs> much room beneath you and you don't want drips coming through the ceiling, those are for you. Um, but we hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to give it a huge like. Andre's got a like um, challenge. Target. Target. There we go. Of how many likes? Of of 38. 38, 38 likes. likes. I don't know if that's going to happen. And if you have watched the video this far to the very end, comment below. Bazinga. Oscar. Delta. Okay, and if I read, hey, if I see people commenting that, I know that you're true viewers and you've watched the video to the end. Bazinga, Oscar, Delta. You're ruining my freaking garden. Making it beautiful. You've, ruined, you've literally ruined my garden. Beautiful.